click. All right, welcome. Today we're going to talk about solving inequalities. Okay, now if you know how to solve equations, this is pretty easy. Okay, so if you don't, I recommend going. I got a video called Solving Multi Step Equations. Uh, I'd check that out first. Solving inequalities, it's well, first let's explain what an inequality is. An equality means there's an equal sign in between. It means you've got something equal to something else. An inequality are things that are not equal. This is an example. It's an equal sign with a line through it. That'd be like if you got the answer and it was like 7, 3. 7 is not equal to 3. So we put this little line through it to say 7 is not equal to 3. All right, we've got less than, we've got greater than, and then we've got those things again with a little line underneath them. Okay? Now, this means that something is bigger than something else, like 7 uh, is greater than 4. Would y'all say that's true? Um, I hope so. Okay? Because that is true. Alright? And then vice versa. That doesn't matter. Just remember that the open part is towards the bigger number. 8 is greater than 5. Doesn't matter which way it's facing, as long as the open part is towards the bigger number. What a lot of people say is, it's like an alligator. He wants to eat the most amount of food. So he's going to be towards the bigger one. That's the smaller end. It's towards the smaller number. Okay? Now, the only difference between these little guys right here and these little guys right here is this line underneath it. Correct? That means or equal to. It means that it's something greater than it or equal to. Okay? So whenever we're working our equation, if we get x is... Uh, greater than or equal to 5. That means x is going to be bigger than 5, but it also can be 5. Okay? That means that the smallest thing x can be here is 5. Make sense? And then vice versa. Say y is less than or equal to 3. That means y is everything smaller than 3. Okay? It can be 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 1 1.5, negative 2 billion. Or negative jack-o'-lantern. I don't know. Whatever. It can be negative anything below 3. Negative jack-o'-lantern is not an answer. actual answer. Don't put that down for anything. It's anything less than 3. But since it has this line right here, it means or equal to. So you say y is less than or equal to 3. Okay? So it can be anything that is 3 or below. Okay? Good. I hope that makes some sense. If not, rewind it and watch it again. Okay? Now, let's talk about solving these inequalities, okay? It is just like solving a regular equation. That's why I said go watch the multi-step equations thing first, because it's just like solving a multi-step equation, except you've got an inequality in there. There's only one difference when you're solving an inequality, and I'm going to get to that. I just want to show you a regular one first. 2x plus 1 is greater than, when you read it, you read it from left to right. The open sign is over here, so I say is greater than, than 13. Remember, alligator eats more food. This side is bigger right now. Okay? I solve it just like it's an equal sign. Pretend that was an equal sign, I'm solving it. Subtract 1 from both sides so I can cancel that out. Bring down the 2x. That would be 12 now. Then what I do to get rid of the 2? It's 2 times x. The opposite of 2 times x would be dividing by 2. So I divide both sides by 2. That's gone x is greater than 6. Okay? Now, in case they want you to graph this, a lot of times they'll have you graph it on a number line. Our part, we put our main number on there, which in this case is 6. Put a number bigger, put a number smaller. Okay? Now, on that 6, we're going to have a circle. Here's the deal. If, in our final equation, if it can be that number, then you put a filled-in circle, like this. You would put a filled-in circle, okay, if it can be that number. If it cannot be that number, you put an open circle. We know that by looking at our sign. Can it be 6, from what I just explained earlier? No, it can't, because it doesn't have that little line underneath it. If it did, yeah, it would be equal and we'd fill it in, but it can't, so it's an open circle. Now we got to figure out which side to shade. Do we shade to the right? or to the left. X is greater than 6. Therefore, X can be any number that is bigger than 6. So I'm going to shade everything bigger than 6. Okay? A good way to check it 
Pick that number right there and plug it in for x. It should work because we shaded that way. Plug 7 in there. Is 7 greater than 6? All day. Okay. Cool. So that was one of the regular ones, okay? Now, let's say you want to do, I told you earlier, I said there's only one difference between solving an equation whenever it's an equality with an equal sign and an inequality where it's got like greater than or less than or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Only one difference. We're about to learn that. Let's say we've got um, 12 minus 3x is less than or equal to um, 48. Okay? Now, I want to start off. I want to solve it just like it's a regular equation. I would get rid of my 12 first, subtract 12 from both sides, cancels out here, bring down the negative 3x is less than or equal to 48 minus 12 is 36, okay? Now, here's where the difference is. Usually if this is a regular equation, it's negative 3 times x. So I do the opposite of times, which is divide. So I would divide negative 3 on both sides. Now, I still do that. I divide by negative 3. But, this is the only time it's different than a regular equation. If you divide or multiply a negative across this sign, you have to flip it. Okay? If, if you, I'm say it again because it's important. If you multiply or divide a negative, not add or subtract, not minus, just multiply a negative across or divide a negative across, you're going to flip the sign. We divided a negative which cancels that out. I have to flip the direction of this sign. Right now, the little side is on the left. Now the little side is going to be on the right. Make sense? Cool. And that's negative 12. We've got our equation. Okay, just for continuity's sake, I'll graph it. Negative 12 is my main number, so I have to put it on there. A little bit lower than that would be negative 13. A lot of people screw up on that because they think 13 is bigger than 12. Well, not when it's a negative because you're going deeper in the negative zone, so it's a lower number. Negative 11 is bigger. Open or closed circle on negative 12? Give me a hint. It's closed. It's a pretty big hint. That line's underneath there, it's saying x is greater than or equal to negative 12. That means it can be negative 12. So it's a filled in circle. And then x is greater, so I'm going to have to fill in everything greater. Which once again seems weird because we're going to the 11, but it's negative 11. We're going towards our whole numbers. Okay? So, that's that. That is my answer. That's what x can be. Greater than or equal to negative 12. Remember, it's just like solving a regular multi-step equation, which you can watch the other video to see how to do that. It's just like solving a regular equation, except when you divide or multiply a negative across the sign. I hope that all your dreams come true, and I also hope that if you get a chance, you will check out my website, tylertarver.com, or follow me on Twitter at Tyler Tarver, or if you're really feeling crazy, you can go to Facebook and like my page, Tyler's OK. Facebook.com slash Tyler's OK. I'm done. The end. Yes, sir.